simple header for Diakite. Benzema trying to get into the area where they have to be cute with their tackles right across the face of goal and Bale was quick but the reflexes of Lux the goalkeeper even sharper Ronaldo Marbelo in support four awaits the cross at the head of the queue is Cristiano Ronaldo well that was some stretch by Ronaldo to stretch Real Madrid into the lead it's an incredible header Rob it really is Let's talk about the stretch and also the power that he generates he has no right to do that it's not a lot of power in the cross it's hung up into the box <laughs> and he climbs and once he gets there he really has to try and generate the power himself that is Rodriguez to Modric Benzema yeah, then away he says to Hamis. I'm testing the goalkeeper. The heads are down there, aren't they? Deportivo. He's stuck at Real Madrid for almost the 30 minute mark. Conceded a goal from Ronaldo, now Benzema. He's been on the ball. Setting up. Benzema. Marcelo is with him. Marcelo leaves it for Hamis. Oh, pinpoint accuracy. A brilliant goal. Well, he's taking to life in La Liga. The third goal of the season for James Rodriguez. Sheer individual brilliance. Well, James Rodriguez. It's not even a half chance, is it? It's good attacking build up from Real Madrid. Good movement from Benzema to get down the channel. Deportivo La Coruña probably think they've got sufficient numbers back to defend this situation. But it's the accuracy and the skill. It's enough power on the shot. Well, the goalkeeper's come a ridiculously long way out, he's left his goal, Benzema is taken down, and that's maybe saved the goalkeeper the red card there if the ball is put away. Well, the goal accepted by Real Madrid, a dreadful mix-up between defenders and goalkeeper. And 3-0 Real just before half-time. The coach is speechless. Yep, it's all so uncomfortable now for Real Madrid. Again, another example of new players coming together. Look at the two central defenders, the huge gap between those two. Yes, and Dujani to Lucinho. And there's a loud cry for handball, and the referee. Well, since he almost counted to 10 before making the decision then, and then offers the penalty. I think the assistant referee has taken the initiative here. Well, it was a cool call by Senor Perez. Montero. Big chance. Five minutes into the second half. And it's tucked away by Mendun Janin. And the fans have a little bit of belief here. Well, disappointing Real Madrid. Certainly he could see us endeavouring to be able to keep the clean sheet. It's a mountain nothing. We'll see the cross from Luisinho. Little tease of a Gareth Bale. Oh, Bale, we've seen him hit them from that distance and cry goal seconds afterwards over the years. Marcelo. Lovely ball for Bale. Oh, a tremendous take, and that is what Real Madrid can do. They can turn it on instantly. A little bit like a tap this afternoon. It's been the goals dripping, dripping, dripping. Gareth Bale makes it 4-1, Real Madrid. Calm down again now. Carlo Ancelotti. Bale and Ronaldo playing up front. It's bound from the centre-four position. Good movement. Good pass from Marcelo. Mendy coming on his ball. Just a little bit of insurance here as... Ike Casillas makes that stop look so easy. And some action on that attempt from Adegenin as well. It's a difficult mindset, sir, isn't it? If you're deaf, or what do you do? Do you sit back and condense? Because they can score at any moment. Just like that, Bale's second. He ghosts it. He walks the ball in. And you get the impression when they want to, they can just turn it on Real Madrid. But you have to motivate them. Now Bale's got two and Ronaldo's got two. See how much Gareth Bale is enjoying playing in that role. 
bit more central role, giving Lipwood a lot more freedom. And pan over on the left, or predominantly down the right for Real Madrid. Did by Gareth Bale scoring that fifth <laughs> goal. Is what do you do if you're Deppel? Asked the referee to blow up ten minutes early. Well, here's the kiss of death again. Ronaldo, hat trick. They're scoring at will, Real Madrid. Five in midweek in the Champions League and they better that at the weekend in La Liga. Yep, and I wasn't joking when I said, what would you do if you were Deportivo La Coruña? I knew they wasn't finished at 5-1. Too many of these players are too much hunger for goals. Great determination and good play from James Rodriguez to close down, win that ball back. 23 or 24 hat-tricks? 24 hat-tricks and counting. Oh, and Deport have been given the chances to score. And Toche, that could have been his first touch, telling touch of the game. It's a sitter, isn't it? It's a poor defensive play again from Real Madrid. Varane picks up one player. Ball comes in. Oh, Kiki Casillas has been at the near post. And there's always a chance again, this slightly soft centred Real Madrid defence. It's Toche with a goal. Comes far too late for Deportivo La Coruña. As the cross comes into the box, it's Toche with a glancing header. The player guilty of missing an absolute sitter. Just a few minutes ago, Cuenca delivers for the first time tonight. It's certainly been enjoyable to always co commentate on games involving Deportivo La Coruña. Chicarito! <laughs> Introduces himself in Real Madrid colours. Are you missing in Manchester United? You will be with goals like that. Wow. 7-2, Real Madrid. <laughs> An incredible strike from Javier Hernandez. You can see laughs all round for the Real Madrid players. The perfect time for him to come on as a substitute. Good movement. Good pass from Isco will be second assist since appearing as a substitute. It's a good touch from Javier Hernandez, but it's a wonderful finish. That's when they'll want to peak. Not bad tonight, though, is it? Chicarito is seeking his second of the game, takes a deflection, and yes, that was an eighth goal, an eighth goal for Real Madrid. I'm sure it's one that he's going to be claiming. One that he's going to be given. Well, the most bizarre of games. Ancelotti started the day under a little bit of scrutiny, under a little bit of spotlight. But Real Madrid have been deadly in front of goal. Two in the end for Chicharito, three for Cristiano Ronaldo, a couple as well for Gareth Bale. And they have ripped apart Deportivo La Coruña. And I think this has been a statement of intent from Real Madrid. They've beaten Deportivo La Coruña by wait for it, eight goals to two.